Here's my final thought. June 19th, this coming Friday, will be Juneteenth. In D.C. and some 46 states, it's a state holiday, or at least a ceremonial one. It started back in 1865 when a Union general by the name of Gordon Granger read the federal order in Galveston, Texas, that finally freed the slaves. The order was needed because even after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, slave owners continued to work their slaves, refusing to let them go. And where would they go? Millie Buckner, she was my great-grandmother on my mother's side. She was born in a small town called Pembroke, Kentucky, just after Juneteenth. Her parents were born into slavery on the Buckner Plantation. And with nowhere to go, after they were freed, they stayed on as farm laborers. My mother was the first in her family to graduate high school. I was the first to graduate college. My mother, at age 54, got her undergrad degree from the University of Louisville. That's it. Just sharing my story tonight. And to our African-American viewers, on Friday, be sure to tell your stories. And to our white viewers, please listen to our stories. After all, it's part of your history, too. We're out of time. Thanks for joining us for the Q&A tonight. Keep those questions coming this way. Be safe out there. See you back here tomorrow. I'm Bruce Johnson. Good night.